I'm Alex Atala from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I go to a restaurant in India called Dom, D-O-M. Our main idea in, in, in the restaurant is give to our customers Brazilian flavors, I mean Brazilian experience. Uh, in Brazil, we got a huge natural uh, dispense, how, how, how can I say this? That is, maybe we are, we, we are the only single part of the world who can bring in real new ingredients. And I mean, a huge research in there, even for, 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 even for wild in ingredients, even for forgot ingredients, and as well from quotidianos uh, ingredients. Because in Brazil, we have been colonized by Portugal. And we always have eyes from Italian food, for Spanish food, for French food, from food from all over the, the world, and sometimes we forgot our personality. And sometimes in, I can say that Brazilians are, are not proud from our traditional food, our quotidian food. We got very beautiful and different regions. But uh, we have as well a quotidian food, something that we ate since uh, uh, we were a kid and, and there's active memory from that time and I tried to rescue all this, all this, the traditional cuisine and also discover new ingredients. It's something new in, in terms of, uh, of uh, food because uh, in one hand you, you, you can surprise, but for example, Friends like uh, Pascal Barbeau or Ferran Adria have been in my house, or Andoni have been in my house and they ate a in few ingredients there and they, 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 they are very impressed and said, how can I have these ingredients in my restaurant? And I said, you can't. Because few ingredients, it's until today, in a while, must, I, I try to convince people and organize something to help them and also to have these ingredients. I believe that, that gastronomy can be, can make a huge support for conservation. When we talk about nature conservation, we talk about the rainforest, we talk about uh, plants, we talk about animals, but sometimes we forgot something very important. Human being has part of the nature. So local people must be supported as well. There's lots of knowledge, there's lots of culture in there, and we must just support them. And gastronomy can be a huge help from them. So it's my 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 passion. I got a very nice relationship with all these guys. Uh, I met uh, Alessandro, and Alessandro proposed to me to go to Copenhagen, but I couldn't. Uh, and it was so so hard for me to say no to to the first cook at raw because uh, we'll be in in, in, in Denmark with Hene Hezep. It is I met Hene five years ago, and it's in that time he was not famous and he was so friendly and the way he expressed himself it's so powerful. Then I said. You know, in an intuitive way, that's, this is the guy, this is the guy that. And he also have a research near from mine. He tries also to rescue and revalue his Nordic gastronomy heritage. And step by step, I uh, we became friends. And when I said no to, to the first uh, uh, cook it raw. It was very, very painful for myself, but uh, the truth is, it, it, it was impossible for me. So when Alessandro told me that we are gonna have the second one, I said, that's, doesn't matter what happens, I go straight. And <laughs> There's two ways to think about uh, cook it raw. In one hand, it is a, a, a limitation for a professional chef. You must cook it without fire. 
or less fire as possible. So it is, it is a challenge, and in my opinion, well, in also uh, also in my recipe for tomorrow, I try to rescue all techniques, few Brazilians, uh, one very typical Italian technique to cook in small cuttlefish, and try to demonstrate people who, for a creative creative chef, there is no barrier. And you don't need only technology. Technology can help you. But if you didn't have this, this is not uh, uh, the end. You, ca you, you can try to fall and, and find something fine. Cook the raw is something very, very, very new. Because we are young chefs, so almost the same age. And in my opinion, we are doing something new. It is trying to make a real exchange to help the environment. It, it, it is a way everybody has your own concept. And the, the, the concepts is, it, 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 there's a line between all these concepts. Even if the kitchens or the recipes are so different, we find or we follow the same objective and this is new it is it is the first time that i see chefs engaged to do something and this something is something very beautiful uh, uh raw can be you can interpret the word raw in many different different ways but uh I believe it's something new. The cross line between culture and nature is a kitchen. Mm. Food is the follow tracks for sociologists, anthropologists, for all human sciences. Follow this track. And so when I talk conservation, I'm not talking green conservation, I talk about nature conservation. Because we need to think before cooking. Cooking is, is, is not only change an ingredient or transforming uh, uh, one ingredient, there's something more. You can put lots of uh, sub-messages, I don't know if, if I express myself very well, with a single recipe. Small calamari, look at the size. Ooh. Oh, beautiful! That's amazing. So, what are you going to be doing with it? Uh, the main idea is I'm mixing with a invernal food, uh, tradition, it, it, Italian tradition, and Brazilian flavors. So, I bring from from myself uh, uh, a kind of Amazon root called Priprioca, and this calamari will be cooked in, with a sea water. Uh, ice shaking lots of times and that's became very tender and crunch in the same time and we serve it with, with, with the Amazon grill so we'll be we'll, we'll be fine. Okay, can't wait to be tomorrow night. Thank you. <laughs>